Hello and welcome to IndianMoney.com's YouTube channel. My name is Fayaz. As Russia declared a war against Ukraine, the impact of the same could be seen across the world. Be it on social media, stock exchanges, commodities, crude oil, and natural gas, a lot of things have already been impacted and a lot more is yet to come. However, for us as Indians, what can we expect? Well, if you are an investor or even if you are not. So make sure you watch this video till the end because in this video, we will talk about what to do as an investor, what to expect with regards to the prices of things that we consume wear around us. So without a further ado, let's get started. Let us first understand what are the things that will get expensive in the days to come. Well, the Ukraine-Russia crisis has pushed the Brent crude oil price to almost $96.7 per barrel, which means it is the highest that has been ever since September 2014. Russia is one of the biggest producers of crude oil. The current prices can lead the prices shooting up to almost $100 per barrel as well in the days to come. An increase in the crude oil price will definitely impact and have a spillover on the global GDP as well. According to experts, the price of domestic natural gas including CNG, PNG and electricity could increase tenfold if Russia goes to war with Ukraine. The rise in crude oil prices is expected to increase the subsidy on LPG as well as kerosene. In the past, high crude oil prices have contributed to increase in petrol and diesel prices across India as well. The country witnessed record highs in terms of the fuel prices in 2021. We all have definitely experienced the prices going as much as 120, even 130 in certain cities and certain states of our country. So if Russia-Ukraine crisis continues to simmer, India could see increase in petrol diesel prices in the months to come. Along with that, oil consists around 25% of India's total import. India imports more than 80% of its oil requirement. A rise in the oil prices will definitely impact our country's current account deficit. After few, let's talk about grains. Well, you must be surprised to know that Russia is the world's top wheat exporter, while Ukraine is the fourth largest exporter of wheat. The two nations account to nearly a quarter of the total global exports of wheat, which definitely brings from the fact that the prices of wheat might increase in the days to come. Along with that, the price of palladium, a metal used in automotive exhaust system as well as mobile phones, has also soared in the recent weeks amid fears of sanctions being imposed on Russia. The country is also the world's largest exporter of palladium. So now as an investor, what are you supposed to do? I'm pretty sure you must have checked out a lot of videos by now and every single video, every single YouTuber has given their own take on the kind of situation that we all are going through right now. But Practically, what are the things that you should implement on? Let's understand that. First of all, do not panic. This is a time when investors will be tested for their patience and discipline. Markets are choppy and will probably remain the same in the days to come. But that should not bother you as an investor if at all you are looking out for long term wealth creation objective. Along with that, what you can do over here right now is try to top up your mutual funds. This is a time for you to invest a bit more in your existing mutual fund options. You can also try to invest via SIP as well, which will definitely help you to mitigate a little bit of risk. Along with that, if at all you are eyeing on any quality stocks from a couple of months now, this is your time to add them in your portfolio. So if at all you are eyeing on any particular company share prices, but because of the uh, all time highs of that particular company share, you were not able to buy those shares by any reason, then this is your time to invest in those companies. If at all you find a little bit of correction. Make sure you add only quality stocks in your portfolio with strong fundamentals. Only then will you be able to see very good returns on the investment in the years to come. And also make sure that you do not make lump sum investments. Although it might be really tempting for you right now to put all your money in particular kind of company share that you want to invest, but markets might be dicey and you might also get tempted to make long term as well as lump sum investments. But wait, breathe. Make sure you don't opt for this particular option. Rather, you can choose the idea of SIP option. Diversification is something that you should definitely consider because these are the moments when the idea of diversification hits hard to you as an investor. Now, when you see the prices of commodities like gold and other things increasing, this is a time that you should not jump to buy these kind of products, but you should rather wait for them to correct the price a little bit more and then you can eventually add them in your portfolios as well. So historically, if at all we look at all the incidents that have happened in the recent parts, be it any kind of warlike situations like the 9-11 attack, like the Russia-Afghanistan attack, like the idea of Afghanistan getting, you know, impacted by Taliban and all the other things. So 
at that particular moment, we definitely feel very much panicked. We feel that, okay, the world is now going to collapse and the apocalypse is here, etc, etc. But eventually, in the long run, all these incidents do not really create a significant impact. Yes, they give us an opportunity to enter the market and, you know, to do a little bit of top up on our investments, if at all we are having any kind of investments. But in the long run, they do not really impact. And as an investor, you should not get motivated when a company's share prices goes down. You should try to invest in the kind of companies whose share prices are going up significantly even if there is any kind of crisis or situations like these. Because if at all a company is fundamentally solid, if at all a company is fundamentally good, then irrespective of whether there's a war-like situation, irrespective of whether there's a pandemic, the company's share prices might not fall down. However, there might be certain companies which might get impacted due to market reactions and stuff. But then you have to definitely keep an eye on those particular kind of companies only. So if at all you are an investor who's looking out to make a long term investment, then the uh, stock indexes, the nifty, the sensex should not bother you much. If at all you are someone who has invested in index funds, maybe this is your time probably to top up your investments as well. And this definitely is also the time for you to relook at your investments and consider whether you want to diversify it further or not. And if at all you want to learn more and understand more with regards to how you can make sensible decisions, you should not only consider investing in options like mutual funds or stock options, equities, etc. You should also try to diversify and add much more different categories of assets which are available in our country and as well as across the globe. You should also try to invest a little bit in real estate. You should also try to invest a little bit in bank FDs, government based investment schemes like Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana, PPF account, etc. You should also probably try to invest in options like FD. There are so many uh, brokerage apps which are offering you very favorable interest as well and the entire process is also very much easy because it has become digital these days. Along with that, you can also try to invest in digital assets. If at all you have not read more about NFTs, you can probably consider investing in them as well after doing a proper research about that. And if at all your gut feeling tells you, if at all your financial advisor tells you to make an investment only then and then you should try to invest in such options. Otherwise, you should definitely stick to the conventional investment options which have helped people to create wealth. Well, if you don't really have that amount of money that you want to invest in real estate, you can also invest in options like REITS. Along with that, you can also invest in SIPs. So there's a, a very popular theory that I have time and again quoted in my previous videos as well that says that if at all you invest 15,000 rupees in an asset class which will get compounded at the rate of 15% every single year and if you do it for the rest 15 years of your life then chances are that you will be sitting on a corpus of almost uh, 1 crore rupees in the years to come and if at all you are able to double this then you will be sitting on a corpus of almost 10 crore rupees if at all you continue to do this for a span of almost 30 years and by any chance if you have heard about uh, Ramesh Damani he has definitely time and again quoted that somehow in your 20s, in your 25, by the age that you're 25 or maybe even 30 for that matter, if you invest 10 lakh rupees in a business or in a stock which gets compounded by 18% every single year, then chances are that within a span of less than 30 years, you'll be sitting on a corpus of 100 crore rupees, which will bring you amongst the 11,000 richest Indians. So you can definitely consider investing for long term and only then will you be able to achieve financial freedom. And if you want to learn more about personal finance, career building, farming, business, then you can definitely download the Financial Freedom app. We have made so many courses here in different languages, which includes Hindi, English, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Kannada, where we have heroes from real life who have been there, done that and have built a successful business as well as a successful farming options from themselves. The link of this app is provided in the description box. Don't forget to check that link as well. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section for this video as well. Until next time, my name is Fayaz and this is IndianMoney.com English. Get wise, break free.